Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Tuts, and today I'm going to be talking about WordPress starter themes. Now, in the past customizing WordPress videos, we used 2014 as a theme and we made a child theme out of it. Well, in this video, we're going to be starting with themes that are meant to be used as starter themes. So if you have noticed over the course of these series, uh, this theme exists, but if we want to make it look like anything other than this theme, we're going to have to change a substantial amount of not only the CSS, but the HTML. We're going to have to add things just to make it look correct. Well, luckily, there are lots of excellent people in the developer community working on several different themes that are meant to be either used as starter themes and extended through child themes, or starter themes that are just meant to be hacked and used without making a child theme. So we're going to be covering many of these in Level Up Tuts, and the first of one that we're going to be covering is underscores. Now this is underscores.me. I also have Bones Open and um, uh, Carrington Core. These are several different popular WordPress starter themes. Now there are many others. Like I said, we're going to be going over those too. However, for this one, we're going to be just checking out underscores. So go to underscores.me and check out this site. It's actually a really nice site. It gives you a little bit about this theme. It basically says, uh, this is a theme meant for hacking, so they don't want you to use child themes. They just want you to edit this directly. And now that's different than what we've learned so far. However, it doesn't mean it's wrong. Uh, most of the time, you might find yourself creating child themes from themes. However, this particular example requests specifically that you use their theme for hacking. So what they want you to do is it's going to generate this theme for you. At its very most basic, we can just enter our theme's name in here and it's going to generate us a theme. So we can say level up WordPress and this is going to create a theme for us. Let's click generate. And we have a zip here that we can uh, unzip now we can install this just like we've installed any theme before in WP content themes. We'll have our, you see our previous child theme here. We can actually grab the folder that's unzipped, throw it into our themes, and you can see it's already been generated with the correct folder name level up WordPress. And if you were to go into any of these files, you would see that they have, the generator has actually auto-completed text in those files to make it uh, absolutely suitable for the name Level Up WordPress. We'll show you a little bit more of that in a second. But let's come to our WordPress site. If we come to our appearance, themes, we will now have Level Up WordPress. You'll notice that there's uh, no screenshot. That's because it's going to be pretty blank. If we activate this theme, you can see Level Up WordPress. We can come here and refresh. We now see what is a very, very blank WordPress website. Now what this is going to be doing is really just using their bare bones templates. And like it says on their site, it gives you just enough CSS to get started so it doesn't look terrible and just enough stuff that you can build your theme from scratch. Cool, so in the next video, we're going to go over some of the folder structure, some of the things that within the theme that you need to check out, and so you can get started working on your theme and exactly how you can use a starter theme like underscores to build your site. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on our videos or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook, Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you wanna see. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.